To be honest, I don't really know what's going on with my hair. I curled it a couple of days ago and then I just haven't washed it since. <laughs> you know what? This lip colour is way too boring. I feel like I want to wear something darker. Because it's nearly autumn, I feel like it's almost time to get rid of this background and bring back my autumn background, which I'm so excited for. One sec, let me just go put on like an autumnal lipstick. Even though I'm wearing a t-shirt, but it's fine. Okay, when I said I wanted to put a dark lip on, I didn't quite think it would come out this dark. It's a nice colour, but it's very, very dark. It almost looks black on camera, and to be honest, it's not my favourite. I just went and put on the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour in the shade Midnight. It applied a little bit patchy, I'm not gonna lie, but I mean... It'll do. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a drugstore makeup haul. I went to Superdrug the other day and bought some makeup, which is new at the drugstore. And I just wanna say now, this video today is kicking off the start of drugstore week. For the next five days, Monday to Friday, I'm gonna be doing, well, like it's not a full week because I'm not doing the weekends, but I thought I would give myself a break. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I'm gonna be uploading videos that are to do with drugstore makeup, just because there's been quite a few, like new exciting things recently that I've just really wanted to test out and you know film for you guys and make videos into and I thought you know what let's just let's just make it into a week if you guys saw my Primark haul um which I posted on Friday it was actually my previous video so you guys have got two hauls in a row I'm sorry about that but it's just the way it worked out there's a load of Primark makeup that I also got my hands on which was in my previous haul and I am actually going to count Primark as drugstore because it's drugstore prices if not cheaper so but then I do actually have a lot of super drug makeup which I'm going to be testing and showing you in this video and using throughout the week so yeah I hope you enjoy if you're not subscribed press that subscribe button because it's gonna be a fun one it was honestly so weird going into super drug because as soon as I walked in there was a picture of my face like at the revolution stand and I was the only person in the shop because it was like almost closing and I thought I'd just quickly pop in after I hopped off the train and it was so awkward because I was browsing the makeup and stuff and then there were a few staff members and I could hear them going is it her like yeah I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that's her and they were like no surely not that's not her is it and they were like yeah no it is and they were like look go and have a look and then they like walked past me and were like oh yeah yeah we just need to like check this thing over here and then they were like oh no it's back over this way and then they walked past me again and like I was fully aware that they were trying to see if it was me that was like my face on the on the picture which was very weird it was a very surreal moment like to be honest i don't really ever go into super drug because i get too embarrassed at the fact that like my face is on a poster it's very weird but yeah then when i went up to pay and um, the girl was like are you on youtube and i was like yeah and she was like oh she was telling me that it was you and it, like i didn't believe her and all of this but yeah no she was very nice but i was just really really embarrassed because like it's very weird having my palettes in Super Drug. But anyway, that's like a whole other tangent. I ended up spending £45, which I thought was like a decent amount to do a haul with. The first thing I got is something that I've wanted to test for ages. Well, not ages. A couple of weeks since I saw people talk about this on social media. I saw a couple of people do sponsored posts with this, but it actually looked really good. This is the L'Oreal um, Unlimited Mascara. And I thought, you know what? I love pretty much every other L'Oreal Mascara. Um, and this is that weird mascara which has got like a like what is the point in that I don't really get it it's got a bendable brush which to be honest I feel like does nothing I feel like it's a bit of a gimmick and I'm not the biggest fan of the packaging because it is quite bulky um however the brush on this looks really nice uh it's got very short little plastic bristles and yeah like I said I love L'Oreal mascaras they just do mascaras so well and so I thought that I would have to try this because uh, I saw Jordan, Jordan Lipscomb, do an ad with this, but her lashes looked amazing, so I was like, you know what? I need to test it for myself. So that is one of the things that I'm going to be testing out this week and seeing what it's like. But yeah, the whole, like, like, what is the point of that? I don't really... Is it so you don't get it in your hair? Like, I'm not really sure. Maybe it will help me, maybe it won't, but for now, I feel like the packaging is a little bit not very practical because it's huge, like... How's that gonna fit in my makeup bag? Oh, and then another thing that was also super embarrassing, they had um, three for two on all makeup, but I'm pretty sure, right, when there's three for two, I deliberately got six items because I thought I'd then get three, two lots of three for two, if that makes sense, but only one of them went through, and I don't know whether that's like a standard thing or not, but I was too embarrassed to say anything because my face was on the freaking poster and I didn't want to seem like I was being cheap. Um, and also as well, <laughs> 
I don't know if you guys remember from my uh, makeup artist course video thing that I did, I ended up getting an NUS card from that, um, which is like a student discount card and I wanted to use it in Superdrug, but again, because they obviously know that I'm not a student, I, I just felt too embarrassed to use it, so I didn't. I could have saved myself £4.50, but it's fine. This mascara was... 10.99 which is quite pricey for a drugstore mascara the next thing i got is actually ooh, it's covered in hairs <laughs> this is a foundation and one of you guys asked if i would test this i think on it was either in my comments or on twitter this is the barry m all night long full coverage foundation and i got the shade cashew which i think is the second lightest shade or second darkest shade i always get it the wrong way around um but i just thought this looked pretty oh <laughs> It dripped on my thumb. I just thought this looked pretty interesting. I'm hoping it will be a good enough shade, but on my hand it did look quite light. Um, normally in foundations I tend to go for the lightest shade, but for this one I was like, nah, that's literally white. And also because it's summer, like I have a little bit of a tan. Uh, I feel like this might be a bit too pale judging by the swatch, but I wanted to, you know, test it anyway. Winter's coming, I'm about to be super pale again, don't you worry guys. To be honest, I haven't heard anything about this foundation, but I thought I would just give it a try. And this was $7.99, which is pretty good for a foundation. It kind of smells like soap. And then something that I have been trying to find for ages, like literally for about a year, is a dupe of the MAC Studio Fix powder foundation because that stuff is so good, but it's like 24 pounds or something. And as much as I love it, I know that like, you know, it's nice to have drugstore dupes for things. And if I can find a dupe, then I will use a dupe. Um, so I decided to give this a try, which is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Perfecting Powder. I got the shade 1R1C, which says that it's rose ivory, but when I did a swatch, it didn't look very rosy. And the other shade looked like it would be too dark. Like, in my opinion, this looks pretty yellow for a shade that's called rose ivory. Um, but yeah, when I swatched it, hang on, wait, no, that's not as pigmented as the swatch in the shop. Oh, have I put the wrong shade? Okay, I'm really confused. Oh, I'm really mad. The one I got in the shop, I swatched it and it seemed like it was going to be really pigmented, but this one... Doesn't seem like it has much pigment at all. I do really like how a lot of the L'Oreal products have got like a mirror underneath because I actually find that so handy for traveling. I don't, I don't know what this is. Like nobody uses those, but like <laughs> I'm hoping the powder will be good. We'll give it a try and see if it does anything for me. And if it doesn't, I won't buy it again. I then got a highlighter, which I'm hoping isn't going to be too dark for me. This is the Maybelline Face Studio Chrome Extreme Highlighter. It's an intense metallic highlighter in the shade Molten Rose Gold. One of you guys actually tweeted me about this and originally when I swatched the like original Maybelline highlighter shades, they were all too dark for me. But when I saw this one, I thought I might just be able to get away with it. I'm not 100% sure still. Wait, how do I open this freaking thing? So this is what it looks like on the inside. And if I just give it a swatch, oh, it looks really nice. I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too dark. I think judging by that, normally I can tell when I kind of like do this. I feel like that's just about going to be okay. And that was $8.99. I then got a lipstick, which I've been wanting to get ever since I filmed with Emma because she told me that these are her new favourite liquid lipsticks ever. Um, I'm not sure what shade she has. I forgot to ask her, but this one looks kind of similar. These are the L'Oreal Ultra Matte Liquid Lipsticks, Le Chocolat. This one is in Sweet Tooth, which literally is the description of me. And oh my good God. This smells like a bar of galaxy chocolate. I'm gonna have to like restrain myself from eating this because it smells that good. Like this is honestly one of the nicest smelling things I've ever smelled in terms of makeup. It looks like a gorgeous brown sort of nude. <laughs> what a surprise. Um, it just looks like my sort of colour and I really like the packaging as well. Oh, um, this was $8.99. Again, that seems quite pricey. Like Jeffree Star liquid lipstick is only like a few extra pounds, you know? Same with Ofra. Like Ofra liquid lipsticks are what, like £12? And this is £9? Like, whoa. And then the final product that I actually bought, I'm going to talk about something super exciting, which I have been sent, but it's just, you guys will know what it is. It's the Revolution Foundation and the new concealer. Well, I'll get onto that in a sec. The final thing that I bought is the L'Oreal L'Oreal Paradise Pomade Ecstatic. I don't know why it's ecstatic, but apparently it is. This is the brow pomade, and 
I have no idea what this shade is. They had warm blonde, and then they had a sh shade called 103 Chatin. Chatin means dark blonde. I don't know why it's in French. Um, I guess because L'Oreal is a French brand, but you would think they'd put it in English. Um, but this is the shade dark blonde. To be fair, I feel like this is going to be a really good colour for me. And it kind of looks like a dupe for the Benefit Cabral, which I love. Oh, and it's got the a very, very similar sort of brush as well. So I have high hopes for this brow product. And again, oh, I can't get it out of my hand. And again, one of you guys on Twitter asked if I would test this, so I bought it. This was $9.99. Again, a little bit pricey. So that is everything that I bought from Superdrug, but another thing that I'm going to be testing this week, because you guys have all asked for it and I'm really excited to test it, is the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. Um, yeah, this is like a giant, I just spat everywhere, I'm really sorry. This is like a giant version of the Conceal and Define Concealer, which is this guy over here. Um, and they also have launched the super size conceal and define concealers which are basically a jumbo version of the original conceal and define and you get more product in it as well because I know that a lot of people were kind of complaining that there wasn't enough product um so yeah these are the new concealers they've also got a slightly bigger doe foot than the original concealer and then the foundation has got a giant doe foot applicator which I actually think is kind of cute looking um and yeah I'm going to be testing this this week and giving it like a full on wear test throughout the day and swatching all the shades and everything. It comes in 24 different shades, which I think for drugstore foundation is amazing. Um, and yes, that is everything that I'm going to be testing this week, along with all of the Primark makeup stuff. So if you guys want to see all of those things, make sure you're subscribed because hopefully it's going to be a fun week. And I hope, I really am hoping for myself that I manage to get it all done and all up on time. Everyone's asking on my previous video if me and Sophie Louise planned it because we both uploaded a Primark haul on the exact same day and we both had new hair. Um, but no, we didn't plan it. It was literally a coincidence. <laughs> Question of the day comes from Cat Emoji Vlogs and she says, how did you know that you wanted to have blonde hair and instead of all the other colours. Um, I don't know if you mean just in general from the very beginning. Basically, my natural hair colour is what you see at the top. It's like this kind of dark blonde colour here. Kind of the same colour as the dark blonde L'Oreal eyebrow pomade. When I was younger, my hair used to be really, really blonde. Like when I was a toddler, my hair was like white blonde. And then it just kind of gradually got darker throughout my, like maybe when I was like 10, my hair colour was this sort of colour. Um, and then just as I got older, it's got to this like darker blonde. Um, and so since I was about like, 14 I've been dying it lighter blonde because I've just always wanted to be a bit blonder how I was when I was younger Um, so that's when I started dyeing my hair blonde and yeah I just feel like because it's my natural hair color just lightening it a little bit It just kind of like suits me rather than brown. I feel like I really wouldn't suit brown hair I think it would really wash me out Um, maybe I'll do it one day, but probably not. I don't know. Maybe I should buy a brown wig video idea, um, but yeah this time I decided to just do like a bit of a blonde refresh i've still got my natural kind of root color but then before it was kind of like my roots were growing down to about here so i just had a few more kind of like balayage bits put in and then a couple around the front as well um i kind of want to be a little bit blonder like around the front of my hair still um so maybe i'll go back in a couple of months and get like a touch up again because i hadn't had it done since january um but yeah i absolutely love it i really like it and i decided to just get a touch up of my blonde because then when i do things like pink and purple and shades like that or gray or silver or whatever then I just do it myself at home because it's like non-damaging colors and it's really easy so maybe I'll do pink in a couple of weeks time we will see okay so that's it from me I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up let's try and smash 10,000 if you aren't already subscribed I've said that like three times this video but press subscribe because that would be great and hopefully you guys will enjoy this week and I will see you in my next video which will be tomorrow see you tomorrow <laughs> bye